Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to password protect your SanDisk flash drive using the SanDisk private access software. It's free if you have a SanDisk flash drive and really quite simple to do. And it also gives you 128 bit encryption. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Go ahead and plug your flash drive into your PC and let's get started. So let's head on over to the SanDisk website here where we can download and install the private access software. I'll have this link below in the description. Again, it is a free download. Now, again, this is 128-bit AES encryption, and it is available for both Windows and Mac. So the file size for Windows, nine megabytes and 15 megabytes for Mac. So select your correct software. I'm going with Windows. We'll go ahead and click on the download software here. It's gonna download that. And I'm just gonna minimize this and we'll open up my file explorer here. And over here on my left, I've got the SanDisk drive. It's the D drive here. And then I've got my downloads. So go to my downloads and here's the file we just downloaded. I'm gonna left click and hold down the left mouse button and drag that over to my SanDisk drive here and I'll just release it. And that'll go into my SanDisk USB. So if I click here, you can see I've got the file. Now I should mention that your flash drive likely has a different name than mine. So do keep that in mind when you're doing this. Let's go ahead and open up the application. Private access. It's gonna say you have not backed up your vault data in over two weeks. Well, I haven't used the software, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. Welcome to private access. So this allows us to password protect our documents, photos, and files. It also has a backup utility in it. We'll go ahead and hit next. You can go through the user agreement or licensing agreement and select I read and agree. We'll hit next. And now it's gonna ask us to create a password. Now I should mention, once you put a password in here, if you forget that password, you're gonna lose all your data. So make sure you keep it in a safe place and do not forget that password because you will lose your data because this is 128 bit encryption. Now the password itself needs to be at least six characters. It have an upper and lowercase character. It needs to also have a number or an alphanumeric character as well as a special character. So let's go ahead and put something in here. I'm gonna do one. And then it wants you to confirm your password. And then a hint, you can just type in whatever you like for your hint. And it'll give you check marks here if it's all good. And we'll just go ahead and hit okay. It's gonna say that we can drag and drop files in here copy and paste, you can click to add files, and you can use this to back up your data. So you can hit don't show me that again, and we'll go ahead and hit next, and it's gonna open up the private access software. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna close out of this or log off and show you how to log back in. And we'll open up our file explorer, again, click on your flash drive, and then we've got that file there or application, just double click on that, and it will load up. Again, private access. You have not backed up your data in the vault in over two weeks. We'll hit okay. And this is where it's gonna ask us to put in our password. So you, again, you can type that in. And then just hit log in. And now we would have access to this. So really quite easy to log in and out. Now for adding files, again, you can drag and drop them, copy and paste, or hit the add button. So I could right click and hit add files here. That would allow me to search my computer or I can just drag and drop files. So if I drag this PDF in, we can just drag it in there. I can also create folders. So if I right click, I can add a new folder. Maybe I wanna call it pics. And then it'll create a folder here that we can drag and drop pictures into just as we would use any other flash drive. There's a little back button here to go back. And then once we're done, we can go ahead and hit log off right here and all of that data in here is encrypted behind that password. And really it's that easy to use and set up the private access for your flash drive here with SanDisk.